Hi, I'm Beth with 50 Plus Beauty and I'm so excited to be here with you today because I have a problem with my skin looking oily. I have oily skin, especially in the T-zone area, and by noon every day I'm an oil slick. No matter what primers I use, no matter what powders I use, I'm just a very oily girl. And in one way that's a wonderful thing because I think it has resulted in my having a lot fewer lines and wrinkles than some of my more pimple-free friends. And I say that because I had acne up through my late 50s. And so, you know, that was really embarrassing to have the wrinkles starting and to get acne breakouts, to have pimples, you know, and it would always happen right before a party or something like that. So in one sense, my oily skin has been very good for me, but in another sense, I walk around looking shiny and like an oil slick a lot of the time. So I've started on my channel, and you don't know this because I've never shared this before, but I have certain beauty problems, and one of them is this horrible amount of shine that I have a lot of the time. And yeah. I'll show you some still pictures of me from some former videos, and there they are, and it is not a pretty sight. And that is right after usually I have applied makeup, and so you would think, at least at that point, I wouldn't look like an oil slick, but obviously I did. So. That is one of the problems I'm going to be solving on my channel, and amazingly, I think I found a matte primer that is solving that for me, and I am not kidding. And so first, if you're not a subscriber and you're interested in all things great for us over 50-year-old beauties, then I hope you'll subscribe and click that bell to get my videos, and give the video a thumbs up if you'd like. That would be great, too. Okay, let me kind of just get out of the 50 plus beauty mode and just tell you how this video started out and then let me tell you what happened, which turned out to be a great thing. I decided that I wanted to, to solve my oily look situation. So what I did was I had some of these primers in my stash and I've been using them on and off, but I have to admit that I had kind of not been using primers for maybe the last few months. I don't know, I get busy in the morning, I have to go to work. So I was just kind of skipping that step, which obviously wasn't doing me any favors. So some of these I had in my stash and some of them I went out and purchased at Ulta. And some of them were up to $40, but I was bound and determined to find the best matte primer for myself and to share that with you. And I will tell you, I found a fabulous matte primer and it is quite a surprising one too. And I'll keep that just as a secret for the next few minutes. But basically what I did and how this video started out is a war every single day between like, like the first day, this was called going to be called Matte Primer Wars. And the first day on one side of my face, I used the Smashbox Oil and Shine Control, which is a new one from Smashbox. And on the other side of my face on that first day, I used one that I had in my stash, which is the Smashbox Photo Finish Pore Minimizing Primer. And I'd always thought that really did a good job, but come to find out, it didn't. And so anyway, for the last seven days, it took me seven days, every morning I would apply two different primers. At the end of that day, I would tell you the winner, show you the winner. And then on the next day, I would take the winner of that day, put it on one half of the, the face the next morning, along with the next challenger. And then at the end of every day, I would show you, at least the idea was I would show you the clear winner at the end of every day. And then by the end of the seven days, we would have a clear winner, right? Well, what ended up happening was that I did do those videos. You know, I'd apply the makeup in the morning, hardly use any powder at all, use the same foundation, and I was using the Neutrogena Healthy Skin Foundation. That's not what I have on right now, and I love this foundation. I'll tell you about this foundation at the end of this video. But basically, I would wear the same makeup every day and only use just a minimal amount of powder. I used my Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Pressed Powder and just in the areas that look greasy. And then all day long, I did not apply any more powder, any more blush on my face. And so I went through each of those days like that. So, you know, the idea was that at the end of every day, I would have a clear winner. Well, that wasn't what happened. And I started to get really depressed about the whole makeup industry because after this day, it was like, you know, that was maybe a tiny bit better, but not necessarily, you know, in certain lights, they looked exactly the same. And then the next day I did these two and I was disappointed. This one even had charcoal in it. So I thought, surely that's gonna make me matte. Well, at the end of eight hours, I was a greasy oil slick again. Well, then I did this every single day using various prices of primers and while maybe at the two hour point, I would think, well, maybe the clinic looks a little better at the two hour point. Well, by the end of eight hours, they both look like crap, you know? And so 
Somewhere around in here, the third or fourth day, I started thinking that all of the makeup industry was just a scam because none of these things made any difference. I looked oily at the end of the day and it wasn't, you know, if one was $40 and had all these claims, it did exactly the same thing as the one that was $25 and had all of those claims. It was very frustrating. So anyway, I get through all of these over the past seven days and then I get to yesterday. And this little guy, I almost did not put in with these. This is the Ulta Beauty Mattifying Face Primer, oil-free, paraben-free, says control, shine, and blurs pores. Well, I almost didn't put this in this set of primers because in my mind, what I was going to do, and I'm still going to do this, is I was going to do the high-end primer wars in one video, and then I would get the Maybellines of the world and the L'Oreal's of the world and do a second video that is the mattifying primers at the drugstore level, and I still do intend to do that. So I wasn't sure where Ulta would fit, and I thought maybe it should be in drugstore because while some of these are $28, $35, $38 primers, a lot of them are, maybe even a little more, this little guy, full price, I think is $16, and he was on sale at Ulta for $7. So I picked him up and then I decided, well, heck, because he was $17, that's more expensive than maybe a drugstore primer. So I'll just throw him in with, with these. And I did not expect this little guy at $7 on sale to do anything. I thought it would just be like all of these more expensive ones. Well, imagine my surprise when I did my seventh day of the primer wars yesterday. And that was the, the winner, the sort of winner from all these. But I have to admit, it wasn't really a winner because... You know, I couldn't really tell much at the end of every day which was the best mat mattifying primer. But on the seventh day, I'd kind of gotten to the Benefit Professional being what I thought was maybe the best one. And I used it against the Ulta. And I will show you that final wear test on this and also what some of the girls in the office said. And I was blown away by this Ulta primer. And it is what I have on my face right now. And although I have a YouTube channel and I'm supposed to test all different kinds of things for you, it's going to be hard for me not to be using the Ulta Beauty Mattifying Face Primer from now on because this little guy, well, I'll go ahead and show you the videos. Okay, it is four hours since I applied the matte primers in today's primer boards. This is the last day and I am so happy at least at this point, and as you know from yesterday, things do change between the four and the eight hour mark. This is the Benefit Professional, which is a lot more expensive, and it is a lot glowier looking, kind of starting to look a little oily on that side, whereas the Ulta Matte Primer looks a lot more matte, and amazingly not as shiny as the other side. So, so far, the Ulta Matte Primer is winning. Okay, here I am at the eight hour check-in, and I've not applied powder all day long or blush or anything, just a little bit of lipstick. It's a little difficult for me not to reapply makeup. I feel like I'm walking around with my makeup falling off my face, but I can see at this point that we have a clear winner, and that's unusual because this whole competition, it has been hard to really see the difference between the two matte primers on any given day, but this is the Benefit Professional side, and as you can see, I've got quite a lot of an oily look going here on this side. And meanwhile, on the Ulta side, the Ulta Matte Primer side, it really does look a lot more matte, not nearly so greasy. It's really amazing that of all the primers I've tested over all of this time, it was the least expensive one that seems to have come out the winner. Okay, this is today's test. This is the last day. This is the ultimate winner. Which is, which is more matte looking? Less greasy. Here's one side. Okay versus this side. That's more matte looking. And would you believe this is Benefit Professional and it looks greasy, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. And it was like $38 or something like that. Wow. This is Ulta on sale for six or seven dollars. Yeah, that's definitely more matte. This is Ulta. This is Ulta. Can you believe that? No, I can't. I went through like, I think 10 total. <laughs> and most of them I spent like 38 bucks a piece for and I wasn't really able to tell that much of a difference. This is quite a bit different, isn't it? It is, yes. For the first time, mm -hmm. you can really tell the difference. Huh? I can tell, yeah. And would you, which would you prefer to wear? Probably the more matte. The more matte. Yeah. Yes, I do. I like the matte. And I'll show you some still pictures from some of those different days, so you can kind of get an idea what I was talking about, how the results really didn't differ much from one primer to the other. And here you are, and as you can tell, 
there's really not much if any difference and sometimes you could even think maybe it was the light that made a difference between one side and the other it was just very very hard to tell any difference and you all in addition to being a great mattifying primer if you're looking for something to really stop the oil slick on your face please go out to Ulta Beauty and give this one a try because there is something different about this little primer. Here it is. It goes on the skin just very clear, which was surprising to me that I like this too because I generally think I like the ones that look a little bit more like a foundation because I would think that they would give me a little more of a blurring effect. Amazingly enough, this little clear guy is what produced the most outstanding results on my skin. And again, if you're not a subscriber and you're interested in all of the products that help us age, better than we would normally, then I hope you'll subscribe and click that little bell to be notified of my future videos. And in addition to this great primer, I've also been experimenting with some great new cosmetics lately, and I'll just real quickly tell you about those. The first I was sent in PR, and this is the Becca Ultimate Coverage 24-Hour Foundation. Absolutely love this little guy. It's what I have on my face now. And I don't know if you can see this, but it absolutely covers everything on your face if you're a full coverage girl. And you can make it less intense. You really don't need a whole lot of this on your face. And I realized that this morning, I put the normal amount of dots around my face that I, that I usually would. And I started to spread it out and I realized that it was too heavy. So that is one issue with this. It is such full coverage that you need to shear it out. And what I did was I took a Kleenex and I blotted it off the middle and then I used my brush to smooth that out. So in essence, I removed about half of this foundation. That's about all you need is about half and just use it in the center areas and then shear it out to the sides of your face. This gives you an absolutely beautiful, flawless look and I truly believe that it lasts all day. If you're not a full coverage girl though, you, you might not like this. This is definitely not medium. This is totally a full coverage. Now I will say I got this in the color buff However, please do not buy this if you think you're my coloring and you would wear buff because when I received this in the mail, it was too light. And so I went ahead and added a little bit of this NYX Pro Foundation Mixer just to darken the color a little bit. So don't think you can wear buff if you're my skin color because the buff was too light for me. I was pretty delighted though that the NYX made it a very good color for me. So I was very happy about that. They have this in a full range of colors. You will definitely be able to find your shade, I'm sure. And I will say a good way to buy this is on the Sephora website because, and I realized this after I selected my shade, when you click on this on the Sephora website, it says help finding your shade and you click yes, then it prompts you to enter a current foundation in a shade that you like and it has a full range of different brands of foundation and then it will help you select just the right color. So I will put the Sephora link to this product below so you could choose a good color. Another thing I like about it is I do have fine lines and wrinkles. It does not settle into those, at least in my opinion. But again, to make sure that it gives you good coverage without settling into your fine lines and wrinkles, I would go in with a little bit less of this than you think to begin with because it is very heavy full coverage and a little bit goes a long way. Now I will also tell you another few products I've been absolutely loving. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Golden Goddess Eyeshadow Palette. Look how beautiful that is. Absolutely a perfect, truly kind of a Golden Goddess look. And I'm surprised that I like this because I've watched a lot of YouTubers talking about the full range of Charlotte Tilbury products, which I have a lot of them now and I really like them. But I had always kind of heard that their eyeshadow may be one of the weaker products, but I did not experience that at all. I truly love this palette and I think it's $58, so it is a little bit pricey. But the other three products I wanted to share with you very quickly are Colab Beauty products, which are middle, middle price products. Like I think the lipstick was 10, the blush was 10, and the mascara may be 10. These are the Sally's Beauty line that was created by a group of YouTubers. That's why they call it Colab. I have this beautiful blush on my cheeks right now. Love this. And this lipstick, and this is called Toss and Turn. Beautiful fall color. I'll reapply that so you can see a little bit more that color. I think it is a gorgeous color. And I like this because over the summer, I've really gotten into the nudes. And to me, this is kind of a darker nude, kind of a your skin, but better nude. And so it isn't jarring on your skin. And I would think that this would go with a lot of different skin tones. Very gorgeous color there and it's very soft and creamy on your lips, wears a long, long time. And this mascara, this Colab mascara is incredible. Look at my lashes. 
And it's odd, but under these lights, for some reason, most mascaras aren't able to show you how my lashes really look. I know I have a strange look on my face, but basically I'm trying to show you those eyelashes. This Collab Mascara is wonderful if you like glamorous lashes, and it really doesn't seem to be too clumpy. And most Glamour mascaras do give you a lot of clumps. This is two coats of it. I probably could have gone even more dramatic, but this is fabulous. Okay, well, that is a lot of my favorite products. And again, if you need a fantastic matte primer, this baby is for you. I just love this stuff. This is amazing. Okay, I always like to leave you with a little thought for the day. And I've been reading from these Miracles Now cards from Gabrielle Bernstein. Let's go ahead and see what positive thought we can think about for today. Okay, I can't see it here. When I allow others to support me, I support them too. When I allow others to support me, I support them too. Oh, friends, I absolutely love this card, and it's something that is very, very hard for me, and it's probably hard for you too. Why is it that we're always trying to help others as women, or at least a lot of the time we're trying to help and support others, but when somebody wants to do something for us, like give us a gift or anything, or even give us a compliment, sometimes it's hard to accept that support. And you know, I was watching Dominique Seychi's video this morning where she talks with Menopause Barbie. A very, very good video. I'll definitely link Dominique's channel for you below but I'll try to find that video because it was really interesting. And Menopause Barbie, who was called Menopause Barbie because her real name, she's a doctor, she's an OBGYN, she's retired now, but her real name, I think, is Barbie Taylor. That's right, that's why she's Menopause Barbie. She says that in the first half, we basically supported others, you know, raised children, supported our husbands, you know, blah, 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 supported everyone but ourselves. She says, in the second half, it's important to rethink your second half because we could live to be 100 now, from 50 to 100. That's 50 years living in menopause because we generally go through menopause around 50. And in the second half, we have to say, what are the things that I need in my second half that I can do for me? And one of the things we can do is to accept help and support from others. So friends, just for today, as we go through our day, let's realize that giving is good, but receiving is good as well. And let's open our hearts to receive from others because you know when we let others give to us, it helps us, but it helps them too. Take care and I'll see you in my next video.